oh my god I don't know if you guys can hear that but it sounds crazy hey guys my name is Taylor and welcome to my channel taste tips the go-to place for skincare beauty and lifestyle videos that dare to break down barriers and challenge expectations now, without further ado, let's get right into the video. So, if you clicked on this video, it's probably because you are interested in the Luminizing Pink Charcoal Mask from Bosha. I have been a fan of Bosha and their products for a very long time. I've been using them for years. And most people are probably familiar with the Black Charcoal Mask Challenge where you put it on and you rip it off your face like a video. So, if you have seen these videos before, you definitely know what I mean and what to expect. But if not, then stay tuned and I will fill you in on everything very soon. Now, when I first saw the photo for this new product, it was on Instagram and it caught my eye because it was pink, it was vibrant, and I'm like, that looks good. But beyond that, the product promises to boost the appearance of skin and brighten it, as well as help with those fine lines and just take out all the oil and crud that's under your skin from after a really long week of work and wearing a ton of makeup, which I tend to to do. But before you put on any mask, you want to make sure that you completely cleanse the face. So let's go and start with that first and then get right into it. To take off my makeup today, I'm going to be using one of my favorite cleansers from Clinique. It's the Take Off the Day Cleansing Balm. I love it because it's great for all skin types. So whether you have dry skin, oily skin, combination skin, like I do, it works for you and it's really soothing on the skin and really, really works. What most people might not know from watching this very first video of mine, this is my very first video on YouTube ever, so please take it easy on me in the comments. Um, I'm actually in a wheelchair. I am a quadriplegic, which means I have no use of my fine motor skills. So you'll see throughout these videos and all of my reviews that I require quite a bit of help, but I still wanted to be a part of this YouTube community and this beauty guru slash skincare guru community because I want to prove that skincare and beauty is universal and anyone can do it. I just need a little more help but I hope you guys like me and stick around for more reviews. This is my face without any makeup on. I know it's a little bit scary. I definitely had a couple of breakouts this week, but needless to say, if I'm gonna be doing skincare videos, this is my face. Um, before anybody gets super shady in the comments, this scar on my forehead and this scar over here is a result of my accident that I had almost 10 years ago. If any of you guys have seen Mean Girls and know about that halo that Regina George had at the end when she gets hit by the bus, I actually had that in real life, and these are the scars I left behind. So they're not anything to do with acne, so don't be all shady. So when you're applying this mask, you're gonna wanna make sure that you do a very... <laughs> that just came off. Shout out to my makeup brush that just broke. <laughs> um, I tend to like to apply my makeup and all of my masks with them. Um, a brush that kind of looks like this. It's kind of like a pink brush. Um, I think it's really good for application. Um, but when you're applying masks specifically like this that harden and peel off, you're gonna wanna make sure that you do a consistent layer. Therefore, it makes it really easy for removal. Otherwise, it can be a bit of a pain. Um, and you wanna kinda keep it consistent throughout. Another thing, another tip that you're gonna wanna note is that with masks like this, you wanna make sure that you do not get any of the products on any hair, especially your eyebrows, and if you have it, your hairy upper lip. Um, make sure you keep it away from there because it's going to sting like crazy and hurt once you peel it off. Also, I gave this mask a try a little bit earlier on in the week, and um, it does warn you on the box to keep it away from your eyes. Uh, I have found that compared to the other formula they use for the black charcoal mask, it definitely does tend to sting a little bit more. So I like to keep it a bit far away from my eyes, but it all depends on your tolerance level. So, you know, try it out, trial and error. The farther away to start is the best. Um, and yeah. The darker side of me that makes you feel so numb. 
So the application process is all done and what you guys all need to come to learn is that, you know, brands are made to specifically put out amazing looking photos. So when you see a model for the brand putting on the mask and it looks absolutely perfect, please understand that when you apply it to your face, if it doesn't look like a perfect application, you are doing nothing wrong. It's very, very normal. Um, it's very normal for the mask to look like this. I've done it many times and it works just the same. You wanna make sure that all of the sides are touching so it's, again, easy to remove. And I think it says to wait 25 minutes and as it goes, I'll see how this mask tightens up and hopefully it doesn't hurt like how when I rip it off. It's only been a couple of minutes, but I can already start to feel the mask tightening, which is one of my favorite parts. I can really feel it grasping a hold of the skin, and hopefully it'll take out all of those yucky impurities that are just below the skin surface and make my face look extra fresh. So unfortunately, my girl already got some of her baby hairs in it. So guys, once again, please be very careful, because that's probably not gonna feel good. <laughs> it's been about 25 minutes well actually it's probably been about 30 minutes since we've had the mask on because we had a little bit of a dance party in between but now I'm ready to peel it off I can definitely feel it's like reached its tightness max and um, I don't know if you can tell but it's starting to peel off a little bit on its own so that's when you know it's super ready so without further ado, hopefully it doesn't kill, but I'm gonna peel it off. <laughs> Did I start from anywhere? Yeah, I think you can start from anywhere. Oh my God, I don't know if you guys can hear that, but it sounds crazy. But it's one of those feelings, because people are gonna ask if it hurts. It's one of those feelings like, you know when something hurts, but it's oddly satisfying? And that is the result. That is, yikes. <laughs> Some of the things that I look for when looking for a new product is the packaging. And I know that isn't as important to some people, but I really love aesthetically pleasing things. So when I saw the packaging of this, I was super happy with it. And as well as the product, it's fun, it's pink, and it's kind of a rare color in skincare. So for packaging, I'm definitely gonna give it a review of a five out of five, Go Bosha. Um, Obviously, something that's more important is the feel of it going on. The product is definitely cold and soothing to the skin. And once again, definitely from trial and error, keep it far away from your eyes um, and your baby hairs, as you can see with my friend Ariana. But as long as you do that, I think the feel of it's really nice. And although it does kind of hurt when it's coming off, it's an oddly satisfying feeling for most people. Um, another thing that I definitely look for is the results. Um, I think my skin is feeling a lot softer. Once again, I don't really know if the brightening of the skin really panned out for me. I'm gonna have to take an extra look at it afterwards in post-editing to see if I see any difference, but definitely to the touch, the skin feels different. So I would give it about a four out of five. The overall experience of this was really, really fun to do. My friend and I had a great time trying it out. Um, you definitely, like I said, feel the results, so that's always a great thing. And we had a little dance party in between. The color is fun and exciting and new, so I definitely give the experience a five out of five. And lastly, something I look for is would I recommend this to a friend? And I would definitely recommend this to a friend. Definitely recommend it to all of you guys to try out the Luminizing Pink Charcoal Mask from Bosha. After I do any skin treatment or mask that doesn't leave my skin feeling nice and hydrated, I definitely like to go in with my moisturizing gel from Clinique. And so I like to just, you know, dab it on the skin and put a generous amount and apply it all over to keep me feeling nice and brushed. Now that my face is all moisturized, it is ready to go for the night. I am super happy with the results of everything. And if you liked what you saw today, please hit that like and subscribe button for more videos. I'm gonna be uploading every single Wednesday. So I hope to see you again soon. And please feel free to follow me on all of my social media, 
at Taylor LN. All of that is linked down below. Thank you so, 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 so much for watching and until next time, bye!